Hey guys, welcome to this week's WTF, and boy, do I have a good one for you. We are trying out a $44 dry shampoo. I think that that should wash and dry and style your hair for you for that price. This is totally, absolutely crazy, but this is from a brand that I do really enjoy. Uh, this is by Orbe, and their dry texturizing spray is something that I think is made of sheer magic. I love it. So I was really curious to try this sucker out. This is new. It is called the Gold Lust Dry Shampoo, and it looks like you get a crap ton of product, but you don't. This is actually only six ounces of product. How is this only six ounces? I don't like, how do they trick you with this? Because doesn't this look like a large giant bottle of product? Am I the only one? You're gonna go through this in like a week, the way I use dry shampoo anyway. You'll go through it in like maybe two weeks, $44. I clearly have not done anything with my hair. This is what I wake up with. Um, I did blow dry my hair yesterday but the roots are looking kind of greasy and I rely on dry shampoo quite a bit. As in, I have a rotation of several bottles. I'm always looking to find new dry shampoo that works better than the ones I already have on hand. And it's something that I'm just kind of mystified by and drawn to when I just love not washing my hair but having it still look great. I wish that I had had dry shampoo in high school. Oh my God, that would have made my life so much better. I lived in ponytails, like the ponytail of shame, where you don't wash your hair, it's kind of greasy, but you're like, screw it, I'll just put it in a ponytail because I do not have time to wash and blow dry. Now, looking at the ingredient listing online, there are some really crazy ingredients in here that are different than a lot of dry shampoos out there. So this one does have a watermelon, lychee, and edelweiss complex. Also, this does have a scent retainer, which means you get the signature or base scent that lasts and lingers in your hair all day long. It's kind of gross, but unwashed hair just really absorbs like scent. So who wants their hair to smell like french fries? No one. It should smell like beautiful perfume. This stuff does smell really good. I gotta give it that. So that was just me sacrificing about $5. Um, it feels really powdery. It's not wet or giving me like a huge white cast. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, so no major white cast. It's just like a clear powder, which is good because it does say it's a translucent powder complex that's in here. Sometimes dry shampoos will say that. And then if you're brunette like me and you go and you start dousing dry shampoo in your hair, it's just like you dumped baby powder in there and you can try to like brush it through. And then throughout the day, you might like grab a glimpse in a mirror and be like, oh my God, I did not mean to spray like gray highlights in my hair, not cute. I've been there. So basically the product listing on here, what is doing the dry shampoo effect is the same as any other dry shampoo that you'd be buying even at the drugstore. It's a powder complex that is going to absorb the oil, but then they added all these other things in there. You know, there's chamomile and lavender that is going to moisturize and hydrate your scalp. There is celery, which is going to help you to not have to blow out your style as often. I mean, all these kind of crazy ingredients. I don't know how one by one those do those individual things, but we're gonna find out. This is the first time that I am putting it to the test in my hair that I have not washed today. So let's just get straight to that. I usually just kind of section off my hair and do this. You guys, I read the comments and I know that some of you are not enjoying this backdrop and let me tell you, I am setting up a beauty room. This is not the permanent thing. I'm having such a hard time with the lighting in here. So just bear with me, it is going to improve and I hear your feedback and I appreciate the feedback. So for now, instead of not filming all together and being like, oh, I just moved, I don't have a setup. This is just, this is how we're, we're dealing with the situation. I mean, it smells really good. Um, I know I'm being excessive with dry shampoo, but that's just how I normally am. So I'm using this how I normally would my other dry shampoos that I go through like water, which is kind of why in my mind, I'm like, um, how would anyone afford to buy this all the time? 
It's looking like it did absorb a fair amount of oil, but you tell me in the comments, was that worth $44 for a dry shampoo? You know what I think I need to do? I just had like the best idea ever. I know that every single hair care line out there right now, like even ones at the drugstore, they have dry shampoos. I think I need to go on a mission to find like the best affordable dry shampoo ever and do like a major hot or not of drugstore dry shampoos. Because even though I have my favorites, there are a lot that I haven't tried. So thumbs up this video if you think that is something that I should do. I don't think I even need to do check-ins with this video. Like I kind of immediately have my thought and it has given me a nice refresh. Like my hair does smell like Orbe, super fancy. Uh, it smells very perfumey and just very beautiful and expensive. It does smell expensive. It did revive my blowout. It did do what it said it was going to do. But the thing that I'm gonna say, WTF, hell no, why, is that I would go through this so quickly. Six ounces is just something that I would I use dry shampoo all the time. I would use this up so fast. I know I use their texturizer up so quickly and I don't use near as much of that as I do dry shampoo because when I'm really wanting to extend the life of my blowout, I will like section, section, section. Sometimes I'll put dry shampoo in my hair before bed and that will absorb any sweat or oil that happens overnight. Sometimes I will put it in my hair before throwing it in a ponytail before working out. I mean, I use dry shampoo, like it is the magic wand to perfect hair 24 seven because I don't like washing my hair every day. I don't think it's healthy for it. So I can just see myself going through this quite a bit. The other thing I am gonna say, it says it's weightless and it doesn't have any grip to it, but I'm gonna beg to differ. This does have texture to it like it is making my hair not dry but it has that texturized kind of gritty feel to it where if you don't like that then that would be a huge issue and it does say that it's weightless it's not it has that kind of hairspray little bit of texture feeling to it more on the powdery end than sticky but still it's definitely there so i mean it's not a horrible product Please tell me in the comments, would you ever spend on the regular, if it worked better than anything else, would you spend $44 on a dry shampoo? Because I, I don't think I would. Even if this was the most magical thing ever, I just don't think I would spend on the regular $44 on a six ounce bottle of dry shampoo. Um, also, I do want to know, I've never asked this, but I loved all the tweets and comments that you guys left on Monday's video. What is something that you splurge on? I don't think I've ever asked you that. Like, what is your splurge item? Tweet me photos, Instagram tag me photos. You can leave comments here. I'm curious to know what you guys think is worthy of your dollars. As to me, this is just not. Now, I don't know why I had it in my head that I would like do check-ins throughout the day with this product, but I think I can just tell you straight out the gate that my mind's not gonna change. I think there are better dry shampoos out there and I'm gonna make it my mission to find you guys a really comprehensive list of things that are affordable, that don't have that powdery texture, that don't leave a white cast, that smell really great, that really refresh your hair, that you can feel good about using liberally without totally breaking the bank. So there we have it, WTF, dry shampoo, the most expensive one I think I've ever seen and tried. Uh, here on my channel. So I hope you guys enjoyed this journey of my dirty hair to clean hair um, in one video. Let me know if you liked this. Give it a thumbs up, share the video, leave me those comments, and I love you guys so much. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.